Hey guys, you're watching me on the Terence Lewis channel where I will give you the gyan on dance, fitness and lifestyle. Today, I've decided to address the issues that we have with our homemakers, the grahanis of this nation, where I'm going to share you five ways where you can be fit in the kitchen. I know all of you love to make rotis for your husbands and your children and your saas and your sasurs. Many of the Indian women suffer from arthritis, especially at the knees and especially at the fingertips. So the first thing you do before you start making your chapatis and before you start gundofying the atta, make sure you do certain exercises for your wrist and your fingers. Keep your fingers open like this and all you got to do is start with your little pinky finger in, rotate the other two fingers also in, make yourself into a fist. Once you have got all the fingers in, start moving your wrist out. As you move the wrist out, start opening your thumb, your index, your middle finger, your fourth finger and your pinky. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It opens up on the blood flow into your arms. The second tip that you can do is a simple exercise for your legs. As you're rolling the rotis, you just lift your calf up. And when I say calf up, means you lift your heel up. So your calf gets exercised. So this is how it goes. One, and back. Two, three, four. This way you make sure there's a lot of blood flow into your calf muscles because the doctors say that the calves are the second heart of the body. The third one is for your shoulders. I'd like you to pick up two buckets of water, fill to the capacity that you think you can carry. So this is what you do. You take the two buckets of water. Now imagine, because I don't have those buckets of water, but imagine you have two buckets of water and here you go, you can do your bicep exercises. How cool is that? Do not move your back and you definitely don't move your pelvis. So this is one exercise you can do. If you want to do something for your shoulders, you can also lift. This is lifting your shoulders, but make sure you don't lift your shoulders up. And you take the bucket of water down. And again, you lift up and down. The fourth one is again got to do with your kitchen table. You go back, a slight notch back from the kitchen table. Stay close and just go for the push-up. This will work your shoulders, your back and also your chest. You can do this exercise on any table which is strong and stable. And of course, now let's round up this series of tips that I've given you with one cool stretch. The flat back table top stretch. You step behind your kitchen table, little further away. And from there on, I'm going to step back, gently push my hips behind and go into a table top position and hold this position. The flat back position should be so flat that even if I keep a cup of coffee on your back, it should not spill, okay? When you feel like coming up, make sure you again fold your knees and come up gently. Now, how did you like this video? If you do like this video, please do click on that like button, share or subscribe. Or more importantly, you can comment. And if you do so, please share us your queries also with it so that I can get back to you and we can have this tete-a-tete -tete happening for a much more longer time than you know.